Welcome to another episode of Talk Smack with Zigzag Zack. As always, I'm your host, Zigzag Zack, aka 3Z, aka Dot Nalis Mother. But you already knew that. This week, we're talking about WWE Money in the Bank 2016. I'm going to give you all my review. Was it good, bad, sucky, awesome, in between? What's the deal? I'll let you know. First of all, I'd like to apologize for not having a Lucha Underground review. The first one I'm going to do, like I said, I was going to do in the last vlog I did with Darth Kid for Civil Warfare. Technical issues wouldn't let me see Lucha Underground until Saturday. How sucky is that? But at least I got to see it. And Lucha's awesome, so that's good, right? But technical difficulties will not stop me again next week. I will have a Lucha Underground review for you on Sith Warfare YouTube channel by Thursday night. Got you on that. Now on to the show. Zigzag Zack's WWE Payback 2016 review. Started off hot. The show was good at, at the beginning with the Fatal 4-Way tag team title match. Jay jumped in the right way. It was the right match to start off, get the crowd into it. Everybody got to see the champ New Day shenanigans. Everybody got some time. The club, the Vaude Villains, End Zone Big Cast. Everybody played their roles. It was a fast and frantic match. Could have got a little longer, but it's fine. I couldn't play because the match is good and entertaining. They hit their spots, and it was just... I can't have no complaints about it. It was excellent, but I have no complaints. I really enjoyed it. Perfect way to start the show off. Big cross everybody involved. But from there, the show just completely fell off. I was like, whoa. Please, Why? Why? Because WWE's had such mediocre shows this year. No doubt. Mediocre shows. A couple bad ones. One good one. If you go back and watch my reviews, you'll see. Uh, it's just not so hot this year. And I was hoping that Money in the Bank would be the big comeback show because it looks good on paper. But Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler was <sighs> snooze fest. I don't know if you've seen them wrestle too many times recently. Or because they don't mesh that well, or something didn't click, or the last match was too good and they couldn't mat meet up to it, but <sighs> I didn't care. Nobody else seemed to care. And the match just there. Boo. And nothing against his guys. I think Corbin's has a big future. I like him. He's alright. And Dolph Ziggler is <laughs> freaking awesome. But I don't know. They haven't do much with him, and I didn't care tonight. So I didn't care about that. And you'd hope, okay, well, you know, one misstep was not a big deal, but then the women's match was meh as well. Two meh. You go, eh, and a meh. What is that? Meh show. They had the first one. Charlotte Damon Brooke defeated the other two women, Becky Lynch and Natalia, in tag team action. The match was kind of slow. It had, some cool, it had a couple cool spots, but nothing that stuck out. It was what it was. It almost felt like a Raw match. Which is a problem with having three all Raws these days, but it felt like a Raw match. And I think the right people won every match so far. I'm glad Baron Corbin won, by the way. I thought the right person won each match so far, but the match itself was just there. And what else can I say about it? I used to be a big fan of Talia, but ever since she came back and her matches with Charlotte didn't do very much for me, and this match didn't either. Her turn on Becky Lynch is kind of cool. Maybe she'll be a cooler bad girl than a good girl. Hopefully it goes somewhere, but we'll see. So it looks like it might be a Becky Lynch feud with her. Charlotte and uh, Dana Burke move on. Maybe to Paige because she beat Charlotte twice in the past month. But yeah, it was alright. Move on. We have the Apollo Crews and Sheamus match. It was better than the last two. It was better than the women's match. It was better than the second match, but it wasn't a five-star match. It felt like, and not a really good wrong match. With the women's match, felt like an average raw match, like you could easily miss it and not give us two craps. Sheamus Apollo Crews match, it was actually a good match, but not for a pay-per-view. It felt like a, a very good raw match, like a really good raw match, but a raw match nonetheless. Or man, I'm being too harsh on it. But either way, I still enjoy it. And after the last two matches, it was a pickup from there. So I enjoyed it. The right person went over again. 
Apollo Crews. So all my picks were right so far tonight. I picked every single match so far that night. And my predictions for the rest of the matches were Dean Ambrose, then Rusev, and Roman Reigns. Those are my last three picks. So did I go 100%? Well, Dean Ambrose did win Money in the Bank. <laughs> Woo! I almost picked Kevin Owens as a swerve and a dark horse, but I'm glad I picked Ambrose because he won. I wouldn't say this one of the best Money in the Bank matches of all time because, I mean, this was the 17th one. Give me a break. But they did what they could. Like The, the action, again, it's like the tag match. The, the better matches were fast-paced, fast-paced matches. Um, I really enjoyed it. There's some cool spots. They didn't do anything too hardcore like in other matches. They did just enough stuff to keep the crowd into it and keep me entertained, and I really enjoyed it. Um, the one spot was really nasty when Kevin Owens got slammed, spine first to the corner of the ladder. That was just, ooh, I cringe. Like when they took the Exploder from Sami Zayn at WrestleMania onto the ladder. I'm like, whoo, so <laughs> Kevin Owens be getting destroyed in his ladder matches. Great prosper taking those bumps. I feel bad for him getting. Just so screwed up in these matches. <laughs> but I felt like that was the right decision. Um, Dean Ambrose winning as well. Um, if you picked one match from the show to go and watch, it's definitely this one. It was the best match of the show. And I know I, 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 know I did them out of order. It was John Cena versus AJ Styles. And I know everybody's happy AJ Styles won. I know I am. <laughs> but here's the thing. Will his momentum continue? Will it fall to basic John Cena booking like Rusev last year, win the first match, lose the second match, and then lose the third match even more decisively? Hopefully it doesn't happen to Styles, and it's the only win he gets because it wasn't a clean win. I don't mind it being dirty. I don't mind at all. The fact that he got the visual loss to Cena that seemed to pin him without the ref getting it ref counting, the club come out there helping run it off and win. I don't have a problem with that as long as AJ Styles wins again. I just don't want to see AJ Styles lose two or three more matches in the road of John Cena. Like Seth Rollins didn't even beat him enough times unless he was there wrestling. Like, what the hell? So, it was a really good match. It, 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 I, I lowered my expectations for the match I didn't because I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to just you know, oh, this match is not going to want to be. I just sat back and just what it was. And it was really, really freaking good. <laughs> I big props to both of the guys. They had the crowd and the palms in their hands. It had that big match atmosphere feel. And I just, you know, enjoyed every second of it. Extremely well put together match. And uh, I'm actually very looking forward to seeing what happens to AJ Styles and John Cena in the future. That... I would say that was the second best match of the night, right behind the Money in the Bank match. So, the Rusev Titus match is okay, nothing special. Um, of course, Rusev won, which you get. So far, my picks were right. Ooh, what you know about that? Anyway, I like Rusev picking on uh, Titus from his kids. Like, happy Father's Day, your dad sucks. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't remember exactly what he said, but that was awesome. Lionel's looking good, of course. Good stuff. I, I don't know. Like, again, it felt like someone's missing from this match, but it was a, like I said, they needed a cool down match after the Money in the Bank. And with this match being pretty good, the Money in the Bank being awesome, John Cena, AJ Styles being awesome, those three matches more than made up for the clunkers, that they had two, they had two clunkers in the, that they had in the beginning after the tag match. And like I said, the Sheriff matches are right. So the show, it, this show bounced that hard in a good way. So I've enjoyed it so far. It, it, my grade for the show is kind of kind of half it. It can, really came down to the main event. And I went in with almost surely expecting Roman Reigns to win in a pretty, and of course it's going to be a pretty good match because Seth Rollins is in it. And of course he's going to carry Roman to a good match and Roman's going to more than do his own little punch kick beat bull crap he does. And I do, uh, I did like the spot where Reigns did the crucifix power on and made it sit down. That was really cool. But outside that, Roman was whack like usual. Seth Rollins pulling all the stops out, of course. And then, I guess the match, 
it was good. It was, it, it was what I, it was a little better than what I expected, which is awesome. And I was still expecting Roman to win. And then when my boy Seth Rollins won clean, after my girlfriend looked me crazy, she just made the jump up. I was like, whoa, oh, goodness. Seth Rollins came back and beat Roman Reigns. Not dirty, no J&J &J security, no authority, Triple H, no corporate Kane, no new person debuting to screw over Reigns over. Clean as a whistle, Seth Rollins put down the guy. I flipped out like so freaking awesome. I know that may mess my picks up, <laughs> so mess my perfect run up, but I was happy about it. I was like, whoa. I mean, it sucks that I'm going to have to see Roman come away and win a title back soon, four, five, six, 28 million time champion. That's going to freaking suck because I don't think he's that talented to get the world title like 80 times, but he's only been champion three times, and if he had to lose it so soon, at least it was to the guy Seth Rollins in a clean match. Like, that just blew my mind. Like, how awesome was that? Total swerve out of nowhere. And then Dean Ambrose comes out to cash in. What? Now, after he won, I was like, I didn't, I, I, I had no, honestly, I did not expect Seth to win whatsoever. And I was like, I was telling my girlfriend, if, oh, by the way, my girl, keep watching, give, give us those views. She done that Aztec Warfare 2 video. That was like y'all's second favorite video. You go, you blew her head up. She thought it was a star power. What are y'all trying to do here, huh? What are y'all trying to do? But anyway, the point of all this story is, I told her, I looked over, I said, hey, Dean Ambrose it, it could cash in tonight. Do you think it's going to be a shield triple threat match tonight? Do you think he's going to run in and cash in afterwards? If he did, though, I expected if he cashed afterwards that Roman would have won clean and then, like, got weak afterwards and then, you know, Seth Rollins get mad and beat him, beat him afterwards and Ambrose cash in. No. My boy Seth Rollins won clean! So, blew my mind. And then Ambrose blew my mind even more coming out. I was like, whoa. It's hard. I watched wrestling so long a lot of times. I was surprised, but they sure as hell did. Like, I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. It was that awesome. Dean Ambrose coming down, cashing in, hitting him in the back with the uh, with the briefcase, being the second person to cash in the same night after Kane did it to Ray Mysterio Jr. after he beat Swagger one night. But this was even sweeter. Cashed in with the Dirty Deeds. First time. WWE Champion Dean Ambrose. Maybe the last person to win. But he sure, out of the shield, he sure as hell deserved it. And put it this way. Not only has every person in the shield been world champion. I wouldn't say super short order or quickly, but in a decent amount of time. All three show members have won the WWE Championship. And let's look at the stats. Roman's a three-time champion. One-time tag champion. Seth Rollins, one-time tag champion with Roman. Two-time tag champ, Wayne the Bank winner. And Roman won the Rumble. Dean Ambrose, the United States champion who has, on, who has had a really long run. And had to wait, wait for his chance. Built up, finally got it. And not only that, all three SHIELD members, not only are they all champions in the same night, Roman, Seth, and Dean Ambrose, all SHIELD, all champs, same night. Fantastic way to end the show. Like I said, the show had a misstep early, but they came back hard. They came back with fantastic ending to the show. You could not have picked a better ending for this show. So. The main event with the ending added on to the Money in the Bank and excellent AJ Styles and Cena match and the tag match. Plus, like I said, ignore the two clunkers and that and other two matches are cool. The United Championship match and the Sheamus match were cool. I'm gonna have to say two thumbs up. It was even better at WrestleMania, the best WWE show so far this year. I'm not giving it a say it's like, oh, five star, snowflake, whatever, best show ever. But out of all the mediocre shows that WWE has given us this year, this is by far the best one. This is not mediocre. This is a really good show. 
two thumbs up. I recommend anybody who watches not only WWE, but any wrestling, watch the show. Have a good time. I know I've given WWE a lot of shit, but they did a lot right tonight. Two huge thumbs up. I'm glad I got to see it. So glad I got to see it. Of course, leave your comments. Anything you want to ask me below in the comments, subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned. I am going to Concord, North Carolina next weekend, right outside of Queen City, Charlotte. I've only been to Charlotte once before to see a show with Dark Cadence. We, we, I'm sorry, man, twice. Two heavy metal shows with Dark Cadence to see Metallica, Land with God, and Gojira. How crazy awesome is that? And I went down with Dark Lord Plagueis. Brother of, of uh, Dark Lord Bastille, Lift from the Sith Clan rap group, wink wink. But anyway, what, him see Taproot Non Point, and who other band besides Taproot Non Point? Um, I like them a lot. Oh, Seven Dust. Really good show. My dumbass lost my ticket out the window. <laughs> All the way there. And Matt kept his and I had to buy a third freaking ticket for myself when I got there. But uh, good times, fun times. But anyway, I'm going down to Concord. For a ring of honor. Best in the freaking world. I will be there live with Dark Lord Teaser. I will be there live with Dark Lord Bastila and Dark Lord Tyrannus from the Sith Clan. We won't be front row, but we will be there. If you watch WD normally, the side owners look at the talk. That's the side we're going to be on looking at us when they talk. Not in the front row, but we're on the floor. The back row, right on the floor. Fantastic seats. And then the next day, I'm going to spend the night having some good times in Charlotte during the day, maybe after the show, and it's Saturday night, TV taping the next day. Me and Teaser got front row tickets for that one. Same area. Same side of the ring, just front row a little to the right there. It's going to be so much freaking fun. I went to a ring of honor taping with Bastila and Tyrannos last year. So much freaking fun. I'm gonna have a lot. I'm gonna have live reports in from the hotel room for Best in the World after the show. Live report and spoilers for the whole TV taping. It's gonna be a whole month. You probably see my mug in front row on TV, but a whole month I'm gonna give y'all my review for Ring of Honor. Spoilers. Oh, good. It's gonna be such an awesome weekend next Saturday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes. So stay tuned. And like I said, technical difficulties be damned. I will have a Lucha Underground video on Thursday. So three days in a row for your asses, my sister soldiers, my rest of the fans. What about it? Lucha Underground review Thursday evening. Best in the world after party review from Concord live on Friday. And the TV taping spoilers for me the next day on Saturday. Three shows, three days in a row. Almost too much content than you can handle over here on YouTube.com slash Sith Warfare. Oh my goodness, lose my mind getting so excited. And before we all tune out and like stop babbling, asshole, I'm gonna say this. Stay tuned for those reviews. Stay tuned for Darth Cadis trailer reactions. He's been lazy about it recently. Stay tuned for those live streams, vlogs, and uh, Count Dooku's big things come out this summer. So much for your asses. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Sith Warfare. Be a Sith soldier, be a Darth Lord. Go to SithClan.com. Hit me up on at, on Twitter at Sith Zigzag Zach. And as always, remember, stay safe.